Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today, where Vanguard Zombies got a much needed update that changed something fundamental to kind of the history of the mode. And for the first time, we have a detailed description of one of the biggest changes that Treyarch has ever made to the zombies mode that has been a very divisive topic in the community ever since that change was made back in Black Ops Four. So let's kick things off by talking about that first. When Black Ops 4 Zombies first released several years ago, one of the biggest changes that Treyarch made to the game mode that has persisted in the mode ever since is that zombies are now worth a finite amount of points. Where before, from World at War to Black Ops 3, the game gave you 10 points every single time you hit a zombie with one of your shots, and then a larger amount of points when you finally took them down. This made fast-firing, underpowered weapons like SMGs usable as what was referred to as point weapons, weapons that wouldn't really be the best at taking down zombies, but would give you a lot of points. But in Black Ops 4 and ever since, they changed it so that you only get points when you take down the zombie, eliminating that 10 point bonus for every shot you hit. Now, we weren't 100% sure why Treyarch made that change, until now, where the lead game designer over at Treyarch started to explain the reasoning behind it. Where when It's Perka over on Twitter asked Kevin Drew about this issue, he responded like this, There are a few reasons, but the main one for me was that my brother wanted to play my level in Black Ops 3. And he got shouted at in a public match for killing zombies the wrong way and never played again. He was just trying to take down zombies fast and the system was punishing him for it. So it is an interesting concept, right? In the old point system, technically what he's saying is true. Players do get punished for taking down zombies too quickly by earning less points from them. And that the optimal way was using lesser powered weapons on the body and then finishing off with a headshot in order to get the most amount of points from each individual zombie. Now I think the first mistake of Kevin's brother in this instance is playing a public match, as I'm sure you all know how in interesting those could be at times. This is the Call of Duty community after all, where on one hand being punished for taking down zombies quickly does kind of suck, but the old system allowed for a little bit more complexity and a higher skill cap utilizing your knowledge of how to get the most out of each individual zombie in Black Ops 3 and all the games before it in order to use it to your advantage. That is basically eliminated now. Another Twitter user responded to Kevin saying, I really thought it was to balance slash control the experience, having a limit on the maximum amount of points to make sure players don't do X until they finished round Y or so. This also applies to perks and pack-a-punch, etc. Kevin Drew responding to that saying, it that was was another one of those reasons for making this change was quote making the economy more predictable so we could place things on the map and kind of route player progression within a single game of zombies a little bit better. Even today the way you earn points off zombies is still a very controversial topic but I'm glad we kind of have Treyarch's perspective on why they made the change for the first time ever. Next up Vanguard Zombies got a new patch today which looked to change a few things some minor things and one pretty major thing where first of all, in terms of the gameplay, they addressed an issue where zombies could move at slower speeds than intended on Terra Maledicta, and this kind of combines with the next point where they say that super sprinters will now show up by round 12 as intended. Those two points combined basically means you're going to be seeing zombies move a lot faster and super sprinters appear a lot quicker on the new map, which will make it more difficult. So if you play Terra Maledicta, it seems a little bit too easy. These bugs seem to be in part why that is. It's going to be a lot tougher after this update. But one thing that Treyarch did to, to counter this change is they massively buffed the classic wonder weapon, which has been added into the map, the ray gun, where they say that they've increased the base damage damage, the pack-a-punch damage, splash damage radius, ammo count, and ammo pickups per community feedback. Where the base damage for the unpapped ray gun has been increased to 400, the PAP tier 1 has been increased to 900, the PAP tier 2 has been increased to 1800, and the PAP tier 3 has been increased from 2400 all the way to 3600. So that's quite a significant buff for the ray gun. Actually, using the ray gun in the game before this update, it was using it a little bit earlier in this video, it already was pretty good to be honest with you. It wasn't as horrible as the community possibly made it seem when it first came out, but with this buff, 
it's gonna get even better. Another thing that's gonna get even better is the Decimator Shield, the other wonder weapon that was added onto the map where Treyarch says they drastically increased the base melee damage per community feedback, where now the base melee for this shield will take down normal zombies in one hit through round 12. So with this update, the players get a buff in terms of the ray gun and the shield, and the zombies get a buff in terms of their movement speed, being able to sprint a lot sooner. But guys, that wraps up the news today. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you did enjoy it, if you learned something new, consider hitting that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely tap out to check out the last edition of the Zombies News Update. You don't wanna miss it. And I'll see you with another Zombies News video very soon. Peace.